Hello spooky people, it is Lilith and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Today I will be sharing with you my first unboxing of the Tamed Wild box. I'm very excited to do some witchy unboxing for you today. No more rambling, let's do the thing. We open. I love the packaging on this. It's a very cute little like natural looking vine situation. Okay, so on top, I have this cute little purple sticker. Very nice. I kind of want to save the info card till the end so it's all a surprise for you and me. Very cool. So this is like a little print and then on the back of it, it has some information about magical edible flowers. I'm not gonna read this right now because I don't know what's gonna be in it, but this would be a great addition to a Book of Shadows. Just in and of itself, it is adorable. I have this little letter. I feel like this is on top, so maybe I should open this first. I could try to save the envelope, but I'm not trying to do that right now. The envelope is really cute though. It has this little like, sticker on it. So we have these little cards that say Tamed Wild. Oh, these are so nice. So basically what it is on the back is a little info card and you can fill in all of the information that you find relevant about the plant, which I think is so cute. Like this, it, it kind of reminds me of like recipe cards in a way of like you can add what you want to them. This again would be very cute in a Book of Shadows. You could even maybe tape this envelope in there and then like kind of store them in there for a little cheeky situation. Those are so nice and like I love the print that's on the back of these. These are gorgeous and it's like a nice cardstock. So now we have some seeds. We have some nostridium, probably butchered that, thyme, I love thyme, this is one of my favorite botanical plants, witchy plants, and then mixed kitchen herbs. So this seed pack is sweet basil, dill, cilantro, and parsley. Very cool. I've been wanting to get back into gardening. That gives me a great excuse to. Ooh, yes! Oh, I love this! It's tea! It's an herbal tea pack. Artisan herbal tea for Maybon, which Maybon has just recently passed. We're still kind of in the, the season of it. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with celebrating a little bit late. But that is freaking awesome. It has black tea, orange peel, cinnamon, and natural fruit flavoring. Very cute. And to go with their tea, since this is like a, like a loose leaf tea kind of situation, I have this little tea ball, which I've always wanted one of these. These are awesome because now I can start buying loose leaf teas. You basically just put the tea inside of there and it'll brew for you. That's so awesome. I've always wanted one of these. Now we have this sweet little little baggie and you can never have too many little like spell sachets like honestly you, you need a million of them. Oh that's very cute. It is this little leaf pendant, pendant thing, which I have lots of great chains I could add that to. I like a, I like little charms like this because you can just kind of add them with a crystal and it just makes it a little bit more spicy. So that's probably what I will do with this little friend is add it to a crystal necklace. This is very cool. If this is what I think it is, I am very happy. It is, oh yes, 
this is a tote bag. Yes, I freaking love reusable bags. And this is a really good, substantially sized one. It has all of these little drawings of cute little plants. It's very minimal, it's very sweet, and I love using reusable bags for grocery shopping or just when I'm out shopping for clothes or anything. So for me, you can never really have too many of these things, and it's always nice to have ones that are cute, obviously. I believe that is the end of our box. So I'm gonna go back and look at these little cards that were on the top now. So, for this one, it tells us about that uh, nostritium, which, again, I'm probably butchering that, so it gives a little bit of information about that, which is good, because I don't really know a whole lot about it. And there's some, there's some other ones here that are really great, like, I, I love calendula, it has some information about that. Uh, Borage, dandelion, and violet. So it's just some really sweet flowers. I, I think uh, it's very cute when people bake with edible flowers, and that's something I have wanted to try before. So it'll be great to kind of already have the research handy for such an occasion. All right. So this just gives a little bit of information about the stuff we got. So we got the foraging tote. Holy crap, that's cute. <laughs> so just basically saying like this is a nice little bag if you are going on an excursion to go forage for botanical plants to add to your spell work, you can add them in this cute little tote, like any tools that you may need. You can put the plants in there when you find them. Then we got our little silver leaf amulet very cute. It's nice to know that it's it's silver. Like, that's very nice. We got our seed packets. We got our edible flowers card and Maybon tea, which, let me just say again, I am so excited to have this botanical tea in this little tea ball situation. I just, I'm very excited about this. Alright, everybody, that's it. That was so much fun. I'm so happy to be getting these monthly now and it's been a while since I've done hauls on the channel. I, uh, I haven't really been shopping as much as I used to so it'll be really fun to have like a nice little witchy surprise every month to share with you guys and to enjoy. I would love to do more videos about witchcraft on the channel. I'm just gonna take a couple minutes here to talk about like my experience with witchcraft. I may do a whole other video dedicated to this subject, but just a little bit of rambling here at the end for you. Um, I've been practicing specifically Wicca traditions for about the past, uh, I think we're coming up on seven years now, like six or seven around there. Um, yeah, so I, I am very much into the nature aspects of witchcraft. That's always what's been resonating with me. I love plant magic. Um, definitely the things that I have the most experience in would be candle magic, color magic, and plant magic. So usually my spell work will include all of those things. I really love uh, diving into metaphysical uh, theory and stuff like that, like basically like different kinds of theologies and stuff like that. I'm by no means an expert in any of these topics, but like I practice it, I enjoy it, and uh, I love learning about different kinds of ways that people use witchcraft and enjoy it and how they work it into their life. And it's, it's one of my, my biggest passions. I usually use this channel to talk about spooky things, goth things, fashion, and, and all the like. But I would love to share a little bit with you guys about what witchcraft means to me and what a lovely little introduction to those kinds of videos on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you stuck through to the end. Um, 
If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out some more and consider subscribing. If you like my spooky look and my outfit, consider looking on my Instagram page and following me there. That's basically where I post pictures of my outfits, pictures of my makeup, and me just being a spooky dude. <laughs> Thank you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.